Hi, I'm Rob. Are you having issues with Windows 11, whether it's freezing or system crashes? This video will show you how to repair and fix corrupted files. As always, we recommend backing up your data first, as a possibility of data loss is there. However, if you don't have a backup, you can always try using the EaseUS Data Recovery Wizard to recover files that have disappeared. You can even create a bootable USB stick to recover files even if your Windows 11 fails to start. I'll quickly go over that before we get into repairing Windows 11. Prepare an empty USB. When you create a bootable drive, the data on the USB will be erased. If you have important data on it, copy the data to another drive. Launch EaseUS Data Recovery Wizard WinPE Edition. Select the USB drive and click Create. Once it's completed, connect the bootable drive to your PC that won't boot and change your computer boot sequence in your boot menu or BIOS. For most users, the boot menu will be one of the function keys during startup. Look up the brand of your PC or try all the function keys to access the boot menu. Alternatively, if you enter the BIOS, which is also done with the delete or function keys during startup, you can go to the boot section and select the boot override option or change the boot order to USB. Now you should be able to run the EaseUS data recovery wizard from the WinPE bootable drive. Select the drive you want to scan to search for your lost files. After the scan is completed, you can preview all recoverable files. Select the target files and click the recover button. It's best to save all of the recovered data to another place to avoid data overriding. After using the file recovery tool to recover your data, you can attempt Windows 11 repairs. When your Windows 11 installation starts having issues, the very first method is to use the Windows Automatic Repair Utility, which can fix system booting problems. To run Windows Startup Repair, you'll need to have a Windows 11 installation drive. You can create one easily with Microsoft's Media Creation Tool. Restart your PC and boot from the drive or USB. After the Windows Install Now screen appears, click Repair Your Computer and click the Troubleshoot option. Choose Startup Repair. After doing that, Windows Startup Repair will start diagnosing your PC. When the process completes, the Windows 11 startup issue might be fixed. Some users may run into Startup Repair cannot repair this computer automatically. If that's the case, try the next option. If some system files are corrupted, Windows 11 will stop working properly. Use a system file checker to scan Windows and repair system files. In the Windows search box, type command prompt and run as administrator. Type the command sfc slash scan now and press enter. If the scan finds files that have been corrupted or changed, it will repair and replace it with a correct copy. Depending on the number of files that exist on your computer, this may take some time. When this process is complete, restart your computer and Windows 11 might be repaired. Click the search button and type command prompt. Right click the icon and select Run as administrator. In command prompt, type the command dism slash online slash cleanup hyphen image slash restore health and press enter. Now you need to wait for around two to five minutes for the program to fix damaged system files. Another way to repair Windows 11 is performing a Windows System Restore. However, you need to create a recovery point ahead of time. If you didn't create a recovery point earlier, this method won't work for you, and you can move on to the next method. Restart your Windows 11 PC while holding the Shift key. And then click Troubleshoot. 
select advanced options and then choose system restore. Then click continue. On the system restore window, select the restore point to which you want to revert. Click next and follow the on-screen instructions to restore your windows. The final way to repair Windows 11 is by resetting your PC. Resetting Windows lets you keep your personal files or remove everything for a clean install. If you choose to delete all the data on your PC, make sure that you've made a backup before resetting. Either way, any apps you install manually will be removed with a reset. Click the start button, click settings, recovery, reset this PC, choose the option for keep my files or remove everything. Both ways will remove apps and settings. Once you choose an option, a window will pop up notifying you that your apps will be removed. Click the reset button to reinstall Windows 11. I hope this tutorial has helped you fix your Windows 11 PC. For more Windows tips in the future, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.